friends, Andrea here with a new video for HipKit Club. Today is Cut File Tuesday and I'm going to be working on a layout incorporating an oversized title, stitching, and mixed media. So I'm going to start by prepping my page with some gesso. I tried, <laughs> I tried adding the mixed media without gesso and made a mess so we're gonna make sure that the gesso is there I am you can see this is part of one cut file we're gonna be working with two cut files um, from the November exclusive cut files so right now and um, this is a mix of some Lindy's powders and um, the one of the art philosophy watercolor liquid watercolors that we got a few color kits ago so I'm gonna set that here I'm showing you I'm gonna set that aside and that's gonna be the background for that particular cut file you can see the mess that I made when I was trying to figure out if those colors will go right the answer was yes but with gesso and now for this second cut file is the Christmas a part of the cut file and I'm using cardstock and I did one I was sure I wanted a um, plain paper in this case cardstock but I didn't want it just as it was so I I took that uh, Nubo Glimmer paste that we got with our kits and it works perfectly it just added the details that I wanted. So you can see on the eye it's a little bit yellow. Well that's what happens when you do not clear your brush <laughs> before working with it. My uh, silhouette cameo was having issues cutting. I had to cut this cut file mainly by hand. So I decided that it was gonna look a little bit yellow. But you can see the glimmer, the how sparkly it is and I think it added just what I needed all right I'm gonna set that aside and right now okay I'm gonna decide where I want that and we're, we're gonna add some adhesive foam and we're gonna place it where we want it and there it is now it is time to bring the second cut file this one I'm gonna go with tiny with a tiny bit of glue and then I'm gonna come with the stitching part of the challenge using some gold thread you're gonna see how that's gonna look All right, so the stitching did happen off camera. Right now on the table that I'm working, I don't have the ability to move the sewing machine that easily. All right, and that's the picture, and it's gonna go right there on the right corner. So I'm now working on, yes, deciding what's gonna be what I'm gonna use as the background for my photos, and then we're gonna start going through all the embellishments and the stickers and frames
these are some ornaments from one of the pattern papers that I decided to fussy cut and I think they added, they go really well with the picture. They bring the red that I missed or that I did not add on the background, the title, or the brief. But I knew that there are most of the embellishments in these kits have red. Our picture also has red, so I wanted to add those pops of color right there. And again, at this point, it's all about embellishing and finding the right elements that you want it to add on your layout. I normally love the fact that you can mix and match and when it comes to the kids, you mix and match collections and Kim and Kimberly do an absolutely amazing job at putting those kids together in a way that they all the collections that are part of them coordinate. But what's even more amazing, it's when they design the entire collection. Because you know that it doesn't matter if you only get one kit or the other or if you get them all, absolutely everything matches. All the embellishments go together, the pattern papers are super easily to play with and match and mix with, the, with all the stickers, with all the die cuts, it's just perfection. So that makes it super easy. It's a it saves you time. You don't really have to think that much. Um, it's just a matter of maybe where to place, find the right spot for the elements that you're trying to that you're trying to add to your projects. And this is gonna be the die cut that we are gonna add our, that we're gonna use to add our journaling. So sometimes I do like to add the, and you'll see it on my layout, sometimes I will add my journaling outside, you'll be, you'll be able to read it, and sometimes I will play with them and I will add either tags or these die cuts and I will hide them behind behind pictures or behind um, some of the embellishments. Alright, we are almost done decorating these layout, I believe, yeah. So there is an I love you that will come here. adding the journaling and then off camera I will be adding few of the tiny few tiny stickers but I'll show you those on the close-up and oh no I remember what's I remember what's the last thing we'll be adding we're gonna come with our Nuvo drops oh my goodness these Nuvo drops are definitely one of my favorite elements and I think during Christmas even more because they they just add that extra if you come with a white you can play and you can pretend it is now with the gold and oh so yes and then we'll come also because we have gold thread we have the gold Nuvo drops that's why I end up at, ended up adding you can see that heart over there and the hello puffy sticker as well in gold and you can see now this um, stickers the phrases that I added on that side and you will also see it 
on the left side of the picture below the journaling. I also added some of the wood veneers that came in one of the kits this month. There we go. You can see the journaling hides there really well. And that is it. That is the video for this week. You can just remember the instructions. Just an oversized title. We are including cut files, of course, because it's cut file Tuesday. We have stitching and mixed media all in one project. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure the December kits are already arriving. <laughs> Some of our design team members already have their kits with them. I am still waiting for mine. But make sure you order those. I know that there are some of them that are already in low stock, so make sure that you check the website and you get all the kits that you want. Collections are absolutely amazing. A pleasure to work with them and you know make them part of, of our memories for the season. And again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.